games. Yeah. Year. Like you need these fresh legs. You need people who are ready to go. And those players, like just as important as the stars, the role players that are ready to step up and be those stars when they oh, yes. And looks like Brandeis is going to begin uh, with dodgeball control. Oh, first tackle. An early attack, but a great stop and a great beat, or yes. a great tackle. Some beater exchanges in the middle of the pitch here. Yeah. And it, seems it looks like the keeper is going to have control on, have to oh, hold on to the ball. Okay. That's Eli Fighter. We've been talking about him yeah. a lot, but. It seems like he's okay. I think he's fine. Yeah. So Brandeis has the ball now. Eli Fighter, great scorer, mm -hmm. great hitter. Can just kind of do everything out there on the pitch when you need to. Uh, we got the luxury of uh, getting to see him up close and personal last year at Nationals, and uh, he uh, he did not make it easy on us. Yes, Ben was definitely an uh, interesting team playing against during last Nationals. Ooh, great deflection by Eli. Yes, and a uh, great shot, good score. And he's right back at it with it. Is it just yeah. a great shooter. He's setting tone for this game already. You you definitely need someone that can guard that tall hoop if oh, you're yeah. going against Eli Fighter. Um, but Mizzou uh, bringing it back up the pitch. Um, Mizzou starting. Uh, Jackson with their keeper number zero. Um, that's going to be Jordan Scarborough. He's got some uh, wicked eye pain out there, but he looks like he was beat. Um, and a pa but a ball still in play. And I believe he was thrown out of bounds right there. <laughs> Great team that's there by Brandeis. Uh, I think that was really uh, well done. I think their beaters kind of blew that play up uh, yeah. for Mizzou. Who I think was just kind of looking to run through Brandeis. Yeah. Which, honestly, if Eli Fighters in front of you, I don't recommend yes. that. Definitely not. It's best to pass the ball and look for an open shot or opportunity against someone like Eli. And Ooh, a shot. Great Ooh. stop. Number four, uh, that's Grant Himmelman, uh, one of the best chasers for me. And it's a foul. And a score, yes. It's around their whole team. That, that's where you have to meet someone on the sideline calling that out. Yeah. But Eli Fighter coming right back around with it. Ooh. Trying to take on a 1v4, oh. and it goes down, gets back up. And still makes it. Wow. No, I, that, that looked a little high there. Really? I don't, I would not call that one good, but I think that's what they're talking about. Okay. From my point of view, it looked like, even though being on the ground, it looked like he still it shot might it. Close, yeah. But it might still, it's just an athletic play. Yes, indeed. Oh, it is Wow. Good. So even on the ground, uh, he was able to roll it over and make a play. That's, Eli Fighter. That's the type of player he is. He's oh, yeah. Giving it 100% no matter what That's how where you know you're is. good is when someone just taps you when you're running back to hoops, even yeah. though it won't change anything <laughs> about what you're doing. Uh, <laughs> it, it's, yeah. I think this, uh, this quad ball battle is going to be between yeah. the man you see right there, Grant Hemmelman, and Eli Fighter. <laughs> Trying to look for an open shower pass. Oh, just missed. And Sydney Boger, what a player she is. She's able to make a make the uh, yeah. rebound with the score. Uh, she was in a great position there, and Indeed, she just yeah. all, all around is just a great player. Oh yeah. Um, we hear the callouts from uh, Tyler Beckman, uh, head coach for Brandeis. Uh, Got to give him a lot of props for what what he's been able to do with this brand nice team. From uh, last year, uh, it was they were definitely a good team, but they were definitely still developing uh, and into a pot three team. But number zero driving and might have been in contact from behind, but nonetheless yeah. a good goal. Uh, number zero, Jordan Scarborough, uh, just a big body, is able to drive through and around people. Uh, very nimble, very strong. All around, just a great play. Oh, yeah. For the most part, though, it's felt like Mizzou has had control of their dodgeballs. 
which I think has been very crucial in their defense. Eli's made some just really big plays, and you just got to give. Sometimes it's good defense with better offense, right? Yeah. But, yeah. It looks like they're just trying to find that open shot. Good defense. Good defense. And they picked up by Jordan Scarborough. Ooh. Uh, Realized that there was a dodgeball in front yeah. of him. Uh, looking to take advantage of it again. And a big wrap Ooh. by Eli Fighter. Uh, yeah. but, and I think that was Sidney Boger that came up with the ball in a score. Wow, great recovery on that. Yeah, Sidney yeah. Boger is always in the right spot to make the right play. Uh, a lethal player out there uh, just to do everything for your team when you need her to. Seven in for Gordon is Ethan. A keeper as well. Seems as though this trees like off the defense is working for Mizzou. Oh yeah. It's been interesting to see the increase in the amount of teams that are playing that trees defense this year, Jose. Yeah, it is I, it is a good defense, I won't lie. Yeah, and it, it takes away the shots from a lot of these yeah. teams. It, it forces people to actually having to go and drive. I believe that was a throw off the beat call, so a turnover. Yeah. And uh, Fast driving, play. looking to take on the whole team, number 10, Eli Fighter in Ooh. front of him. That was not going to go well. No. Uh, Yet. And okay, so uh, uh, I believe the uh, Mizzou player was looking to kick the ball Yeah. Uh, while the Brandeis player was going down for it. Uh, yeah, that's something you gotta. Call. Yeah, that's a dangerous it, play. It just happens a lot of times. Your instant will kick in, and you're like, "Oh, I gotta go give it to our teammate." And yeah, yeah. It, it, it's the right call. Yeah, um, it but is. nonetheless, I think that Mizzou is looking to get Brandeis in positions on their fast breaks, mm -hmm. which could be helpful for them. But at the same time, it also could hurt them. Yeah. Ooh, and a Ooh. shot and a good goal, potentially. The hoop comes potentially. clean yeah. off the... It did look like he just hit the side it, of the It might have clipped it in. Yeah. I think we definitely see Eli trying to take advantage of a... Uh, uh, Open shot. And yeah. A hoop that's not covered, yeah. right? Because, of course, when you have uh, one player down, you have some spot on the pitch that's... Yeah. The player is but, uh, yeah, those opportunities are very important to take, especially if it's only a couple seconds. It's very, very important. Yeah. So, so far, tightly contested match, four to three to start off. A lot of goals being scored, a lot of hits being made, and that's kind of what we're expecting. Yeah, it's like a game. A game I want to so see. Much. A lot of contact. Pass game. over the top to the keeper. And, uh, oh, I think a missed opportunity. Yeah. There. You definitely should have put, I think, uh, you definitely got to look to put your hand through the hoop on that yeah. one. What? They might Looks call like it. they're making an yeah. call here. I wonder why every single, I, I love that. Every single referee, <laughs> except for the goal ref on the far side, is coming over to make yeah. this call. Um, and, and they're they're all hustling to get in there, and then hustling to go back. Yeah. But uh, Brandeis with the ball back. And uh, for Mizzou, you have a uh, Lauren Smith out there. Uh, she's a very very good player. She'll put you on the ground if she has to. And, uh, Oh, and a great play. Yeah. Yeah. pressure on him. But then uh, Grant Hemelman with the uh, breakup of the Eli Fighter shot. Um, but it feels as though this Grand Ice defense is working really well yeah. when Eli Fighter is the initiator. But I think Mizzou has the advantage when it comes to attacking the back line. Yeah. Lauren, Lauren that Smith with a good goal as she's getting around. All around, like I talked about before, amazing player. Yeah, definitely a strong player. Indeed. Uh, Eli coming in. Oh, and the block. Yeah. Great 
And uh, coming back on offense, and Eli Ooh. Fighter with the cleanup. It's a great tackle. Though. This is a, but I, I think they might have called it from behind. Mm -hmm. Which I think was probably the right call if yeah. they make it. Yep. Eli Fighter going to the box. But, I mean, I feel like there's not many other options. You yeah. The option Sometimes you just got to. Or let them run by you and score. Yeah. And in a, in a match like this, you can't. Even if it was close, I think it was in fair nature. He wasn't trying to do anything malicious. Yeah. He was trying to make a play for his team. Pass over to number 10, the keeper. And. A good goal. Oh, Ethan. Number 10, uh, Ethan Gonzalez. Oh, here we go with some substitutions on Mizzou's side. Uh, they're going switching back into a, more, uh, a traditional line, putting in Kalen Johnson as a Peter for the first time today. All right. I have a million and a half compliments about how the way she plays, so I'm gonna uh, not talk too much about it. But I think one thing that's gonna help Brandeis a lot is attacking this backside of their def uh, of the Mizzou defense. Oh uh, yeah. And trying to draw these beaters out. I don't know how in the world he got that yeah. through that player. Eli Fighter is a magician. <laughs> And they uh, called it no Eli good. looked like he thought it went through. Yeah. I thought it did too. It did. He shot it through. Uh, I don't know. Uh, maybe the maybe the refs were just as surprised that it yeah. went there as I did. But and he's gonna get another opportunity to beat out and keep the ball from Mizzou. That play was just beautifully run by the Mizzou players. They were in every single spot. They were with the ball every single spot it went. And now Mizzou's going to look to uh, take advantage of having dodgeball control. I love the off-ball movement of Mizzou so far. Oh, yeah. They, uh, they're all, especially uh, like Sydney Boger right there. Mm -hmm. The small things, you put your hand up and you call for the ball yeah. when you know you're open. Those small things, because it's, I don't know about you, Jose, but sometimes when I'm driving, yeah. all I see is the hoop. Yeah. And, or all I see is a pass option. And I don't see yeah. those other people that are moving and cutting uh, because I'm so focused on this yeah. defense. And it's the second someone calls my name, yeah. then I'm ready to, to make that look because now yeah. I know you're, you're moved or you're in a different spot than what I made. I'm yeah. Made, you know? Yeah, that's what every team needs. They need to communicate just like Mizzou's doing right now. They're calling out when they're open. Oh! Ow! Oh, it, oh, it and looks it like you got a. Shot to the face yes. right there. Gotta hope he's okay. Yeah. Yeah, that was definitely contact to his face. Yeah. I, I think it wasn't a uh, malicious attempt. No, I, I think, I he, was think he was at, trying to block it. Yeah, he was trying to go for the yeah. ball. And it, yeah, it just happens a lot. Yeah. yeah. But it's, it's Eli Fire, and he could take a good hit. Oh, yeah. yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Not intentionally, accidentally. Got to make a play here, KJ. Uh, I wonder what else they're talking about. Potentially, do the ball goes. Yeah. Through. But I do like how quickly this team is able. This uh, ref team is able oh, to yeah. make a decision, make the call. And keep and the play going. I think they called a good goal, if I'm not mistaken. Maybe they did. Good job, KJ. Yeah. Yeah. Not the already in, in uh, Brandeis' yeah. half of the pitch, making plays, making noise. Yeah. And, Ooh, and a big dunk. Grant Himmelman on the medium hoop. You already see the, uh, the contact yeah. line. And Mizzou's beaters just running up and taking out the quad ball. Ooh. Oh, and a great catch, though. Uh, number seven by Brandeis. That's uh, uh, Vidisha uh, Ja. Oh, man. If 
if uh, if she did not catch that ball, I don't think that uh, I, I think there might have been another point on yeah. the board. But might have been a reset. I mean, that was the turnover. Okay, yeah. So yeah. they they reset it into the keeper zone. Uh, so. Shout out to number 17 right there. Oh, uh, yeah. Peter for Mizzou. Uh, Evan Danaher. Oh. Yes. And a, no, a missed goal. On yeah, a missed right goal for me then. I thought it actually went in, but I guess not. I, I mean, I guess those refs have a better angle on it than we do. <laughs> yeah. But right now, this game is being run completely by Mizzou. Oh, yeah. For. They, they had it in the, their first line, and now they're doing it in their second line. Even... even Chasers are very intense when coming up. There you go, Evan. You got it. Uh, but now, uh, looks like Ooh, there there go. Go. a big stop by Ethan. Uh, by number 10 on the zoo, uh, Ethan Gonzalez once again. And the uh, beaters from a zoo are out there just. Doing their job, doing oh, everything yeah. that they need them to. They're very, very aggressive. Even to the point where that the, the other teams keep her line, it feels like, yeah. full time. Oh. Uh, great attempt to block yeah. the ball. I believe that's Jackson. Jackson. Yeah, Jackson yep. fail. But a uh, great stop by the Brandeis. Oh, yeah. Leaders. They, they definitely needed something like that mm. to go their way. Because uh, I feel like they didn't have control for quite some time. Yeah. Interesting though how Mizzou's beater waited for the entire offense to cross the pitch. <laughs> he's standing behind them without a dodgeball, yet he's still taking full attention of both beaters. Yeah. Ooh. Pass over the top and a Oh, it's shot too high. Field. Yeah. Just over. Yeah. Because you see a good shot. Good the, difference in the way they play without Eli Fighter than yeah. they do. And a drive attempt by Grant Himmelman and a, a good goal. Nice. Good shot. Whoa. That is a difficult one to, to pull off. Oh, yeah. But overall, well, well done by Grant. Yeah, great. Great shot, indeed. <laughs> yeah, that one looked pretty clear. Yeah. Good drive in. I yeah. think both of these teams are kind of utilizing uh, the fast break here. Oh, yeah. I think they, they, both teams have a hard time scoring on the other team's set mm, defense. Yeah, yeah. So they, they're they really looking to get out and run. I mean, yeah. this is their first game of the day for both teams. So yeah. they're trying to get those legs under them, you know? Oh, uh, yeah. Trying to, trying to warm know, up the legs. Jet legs for some yeah. people. And it seems Peter from Mizzou is distracting the other ones from Brandeis. Oh, a great uh, stop by uh, number 11, Jordan Scarborough, and then a, a finishing of the play by Sidney Boger. Mm. I like that Mizzou's been able to kind of interchange with their lines yeah. a lot. I feel like uh, Brandeis has a very set line where they yeah. have a set six and then another set six versus Mizzou, who just kind of plays oh. with what a uh, tackle by tackle. number 21. David Murphy. Yeah. Another very good player. Indeed. And now fast breaking. Beater behind him. Then, ooh. Great beat. Great breakup. I believe that's number. Uh. Oh. Not see the number. <laughs> that's one of the disadvantages. <laughs> number. What was that? Our Eleven. I think. No. Number. Oh, that's Ethan Danaher. Yeah. Great beat. Look at Jackson. Go now! Go now! Alrighty, so it looks like they're trying to slow it down a little yeah. bit. Brand has running trees as well. Yes. <laughs> I, lo I love Sidney Boger as a ball carrier. Uh, it didn't work that well for yeah. her that play, but she's a phenomenal ball carrier. Ooh, great pass. Ooh, Driving shot through. On this team. Oh, oh, and a good goal. Nice. When everyone else was down, the, uh, number, I believe it's number 99. I think it's ni uh, 69. No, it's no, not no, 69. no, it's not, no. Uh, we don't have a, a, a jersey number for 
Jack, Jack, player. Jack, however. Yeah. I think that might be Jack Downing. Yeah. We're sorry if we... Yeah. We don't have... Yeah. We have jersey numbers for almost everybody. Yeah. <laughs> but but either, either way, great drive and great finish, <laughs> too. Contact Peter, contact yeah. there, but uh, I, I, yeah. I like when Peters go in and tackle other Peters. Show how aggressive they really are. Ball off from the sideline on our near side. Yeah. I'm waiting for one to come in and just like hit us, you know. Oh yeah. Those, those are the fun ones where like the table's right up against the pitch and yeah, it yeah. knocks over the whole table. <laughs> sometimes it's annoying, but sometimes yeah. it's kind of. But fun. But you know it's a good game though. Either way. Yeah, that's how like, you know. A lot of contact. Sense. Yeah. Everybody, I enjoy seeing those games. I know everybody does. I do like though how Mizzou is using their yeah. block shot. Oh, great stop tackle. by Brandeis. Yeah, number 21, the David Merges again. I they, definitely think he uh, is oh. one of their better players, a strong player. To yeah. Series. Eli Fighter coming back in the game for them. Right. I think that's huge. That is he. David merges with an asterisk by his name, as well as with Eli Spider. So maybe that's an indicator for them being the captain or a captain yeah. for their team. One behind, one behind. But having both of them on the field is definitely an advantage for Brand Eyes. Definitely. The yes. only problem is when they both have to come off. <laughs> that is true. Uh, but number 28 on this new sideline, Abby. Uh, Abby. Very good player. He's able to stay on for him after that. Yeah. So oh, a big beater contact. Oh, And a no. missed shot by yeah. a UI fighter. However, Brandeis coming back with control after that. Oh, uh, no. They, they. 89, uh, Ben, ben yeah. Lambright. I think they call it. I think it was a turn. missed shot. Yeah. By Eli. Yeah. The Mizzou has control now. And that number two, Lauren. Yeah, Lauren's back. Go now, go now. Right, number two oh. with the driving opportunity on China Eli Fighter in a uh, wrap, a good wrap. Yeah. Uh, but was he contained? Or and then a speed out. Yeah. Good fight there though at the end. Yeah, he was he was, he was trying to. Get the the shot, but contact from behind. So Mizzou will still have the the quad ball. Uh, that's Lauren Smith, but I don't know how much how long she's gonna have to hold that thing with yeah. the beater in front. Oh, ten, and that time it worked out. Yeah, <laughs> Gonzalez. He's been a big player for them. Oh uh, yeah, this game. making a lot of a lot of goals early on. Oh uh, yeah. <coughs> Randis is running a, a very deep diamond. Oh, yeah. And yeah. I think that Mizzou, the way Mizzou is playing their beaters, it's kind of playing almost into what Mizzou wants. Oh, yeah. Where they have these very athletic beaters that can go out there and make that play yeah uh, because they know if it's going back there there's they, only one spot it's going yeah they could just send the beaters back there and not have to worry about the chases going back there yes. yeah uh, a great defense for Missouri. Okay. Yeah. I believe the stoppage was for a, a dodgeball that went way off pitch Ooh, and a um, familiar face for Jose and I, Alex Vega. Oh. It looks like he's going to be the uh, flag runner. Oh, uh, yeah. Um, he is a uh, Sam Houston alumni, so shout out to Alex Vega. <laughs> uh, he, I believe he is a bodybuilder right now. He yeah. is very strong. Ooh, and a great shot from Ethan. Yeah. It seems like Ethan and Grant well, both have that chemistry. Uh, I think that's a different... No, that's, no, yeah. That is they definitely both have that chemistry with each other, knowing where they are in the field at all times. Yeah, they ha I, I, it feels like every single player on that Mizzou chaser line is able to uh, mix and match and just kind of do yeah. whatever 
just needed it from. Oh yeah. 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 It just seems like they 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 just play like a team, you know, knowing knowing when to drive and who to pass it to. Like fighter with the ball, beat, Ooh. Uh, pass over. And it's too high. It's interesting though. Uh, I don't know if you saw that on that last play, but they sent their off beater to go help Eli. They did. Instead of having their off beater attacking. Yeah. One with the ball. Well, against Brandeis, I guess Eli is the biggest threat. <laughs> Ooh. Here. Yeah. It might be a, some sort of a contact foul. Yeah. Like brand nice. Maybe, an, yeah. But just another great drive, great Kimmelman. Yeah. Very fast and is very athletic. Oh, yeah. Took a second for Mizzou to yeah. uh, get their legs under them, and once they did, but oh. there it goes. A uh, shot by. Oh, and a missed shot. That was very close. I don't know. Number four. But, oh, okay, that's yeah, the yeah, yeah. I couldn't quite hear it. <laughs> Sometimes it's hard to hear all the, the game yeah. sounds with these headphones. Oh yeah, it's also kind of hard to see. Sometimes. But, but. Uh, I think what what happened in this game is it took Mizzou a second to get established, but once yeah. they did, they were just kind of able to just hold off hold Brandeis. Brandeis to what yeah. they wanted them to, and I think they realized where the threats are on Brandeis. Oh and they're yeah, telling, they're telling Brandeis you have to beat us with somebody else. Yeah, but either, either way, Mizzou has great defense and offense. Oh, yeah. But yeah, Mizzou is definitely. Um, one of the top teams in this, this season. Oh yeah, I'm they, excited uh, to see them play more. They've had a huge improvement from last year, and it's a shout out to their leadership and just their their veterans coming back, and coaching up a lot of newer players to come out here and uh, contribute to a, an already great team. Yeah, and a blue card to number 43. It looks like a dodgeball turnover. Yeah. A double. Ouch. Oh. That does not help. Yeah. Uh, but it does look like Eli still has the ball. We'll see if they can do anything with this. There's no Peter. Definitely not the easiest position. Yeah. And just gonna shoot it. Oh. I mean. I get. It went a little wide, but yeah. I think if you have anyone out there to shoot that, it would be Eli. Also, I guess you didn't have any other options since they're just pressing up with no beaters. So. Oh, yeah. That's 20 minutes. Yeah, 20 minutes. We have uh, our flag runner coming out in just a second. Yeah. Uh, so what are you thinking about this game so far, Jose? Um, I... <laughs> I'm thinking a lot. <laughs> there's there's a lot of the things that's going on. I'm excited to see them play after this 20 missions, 20 minutes of missions. Um, but so far, Brent, like like I was talking to you, Mizzou definitely has a great. It's they established the tone for this game. Great defense, great offense, great communication with the team as well. Yeah. How about you? I like it. I'm gonna. To see who they bring out there to be their oh, yeah. seekers. I'm also, in, I'm excited to see fresh legs as well for both teams. Yeah. 
setting like this, it's going to be interesting to see if Mizzou keeps their foot on the pedal and leaves their starters in, mm -hmm. or if they or if they're out there and they're looking to put in, you know, keep the, or put in some of those players a little further down their bench. Yeah. Uh, to give them some PT. I mean, they are they have a sizable lead, but they do have a sizable Obviously, lead, you yeah. don't want to risk that at all. But like we talked about before, Alex Vega out here is yeah. our flag runner. Uh, great guy, very good uh, flag runner. Flag yeah. runner. Yeah, I'm excited to see who who they say now for seeking. Yeah, I, I definitely remember watching Alex uh, out there. He uh, at Alamo Cup last year. Oh yeah, yeah. He went for 20 minutes. He did. He went for that, 20 that minutes. That was and that was insane. That was insane. After that, I know he was tired and puffing. Oh yeah. But, but I want to shout out both of those teams because they were going. They, that was a hard fought game. Uh, but, uh, yeah, just a lot of love for Alex. Oh yeah. Uh, we're both. We both play for San Diego, yeah. so we got to show love to our yeah. San Diego alumni. Um, it seems that's 20 minutes already. Yep. And Let's see how they uh, wrap this game up. Uh, yeah. If either we're going to see the same Mizzou dominance that we've yeah. seen in this game, or we're going to see a crazy comeback by Brandeis, both of which I'm fine with. Yeah. yeah. I want to shout out the refs oh, for yeah. how like quick they just call out and all that making the game go faster yeah so it looks like the zoo is keeping their foot on the pedal oh yeah uh, keeping their stars in and uh oh that might have been a kick but yeah it looks like they're playing full-on seeker game um let's see how that works out for them because it looks like their beaters are literally just sitting on the uh seeker. oh yeah or at least kj is <laughs> It's a great, it's a great tactic to do that. I mean, yeah, you know, you yeah. gotta give uh, your secret time. Right? Yeah. You can't give the other secret any time. Yeah. Ooh. One thing with uh, Alex Vega is you're not gonna push him around very well. That's true. He's Alex, very strong. Yeah, but he a is big, strong. A big swim and score. I think he was number four. Number four. That's uh, uh, Shakuti uh, Kode Suara. Uh, yeah. I'm sorry if I mispronounced that. <laughs> But uh, great play. Oh, yeah. Oh, Eli. Big hit by Eli Fighter. Not quite over the half. Yeah, but great press from him. It seems. Oh. Great beat there by number 89. That is Ben Lambright. Yeah. yeah, number four, Grant. So what it seems like is that Brandeis oh. Brandeis Brandeis fighting for control. Are both solely focused yeah. on Ooh, a big oh. dunk by uh, Eli Fighter there on the medium. It, it's it's kind of so hard to see. They're both, both their beaters yeah. at. Ooh. Oh, it looked like maybe a catch, but it might have gotten. It might have been right the before. beat. Yeah, before. It'll be interesting to see what they yeah. call here. But Brandeis is definitely struggling with trying to get a bludger for their beaters. I think what the thing is is the. Honestly, I think the chaser on chaser game benefits a guy like Eli Fighter out oh, there. Oh, yeah. He's able to take those one on ones. Yeah, he's able to drive through and cut and just score And it uh, looks like they're calling. What are they calling? Calling no, no good. No good, yeah. He beat right before he yeah. Yeah. Still, still pretty good. But like I said, I think that this Brandeis team is going to benefit a lot from this secret floor out here because obviously when, when you're playing this, with the seeker out there, your beaters have to play a whole lot differently <laughs> than they would if there isn't one. Oh. So, yeah. You know, good cleanup there uh, by Ben Lambright once again. But you know, a, a long beat attempt. I, I don't, I don't know about that one. Yeah. But <laughs> Those long beats are never good. But Ooh, the color of that that Brandeis headband. I don't know about that one. That looks a little green. Oh me. yeah. <laughs> What a great pass over and, and a, uh, no good. Oh, good. Great defense by Ryan Smith. Eli coming in. Oh, whoa. And it might have been. Uh, yeah. Not a god net. Yeah. Still great. Great drive. Great pressure. But good defense there by Lauren yeah. Smith on that hoop. Was able to hold, hold her ground. 
But uh, number 98 out here from uh, yeah. Mizzou as their seeker. We don't have a jersey number, yeah. unfortunately. I think and that then, might be Jack, like we said. Oh, then. and then a great break up there by, oh. by Grand Ice's defense. And a tackle by Eli Fighter. Fighter. Oh. And Lauren. Pass over to Lauren. Oh, oh, they call it no good. But that was oh, still no either way. Wow. E yeah, either way, that was a great press. But. And number four comes. Oh. Comes away with they, yeah, they're, he got beat, I guess, well, before throwing it. Maybe. Yeah. Uh, no call? Oh, okay, never mind. I guess it was for the bludger. Well, no, probably not. Because uh, this official was coming. Oh, uh, yeah. It. That's one thing I love about uh, officials is officials that are ready to go. Oh, yeah. Go chase after a dodgeball. And that's one of the nice things about this mm. pitch. Or maybe, maybe it was, a, I think it was an injury substitution. Oh, so like okay, maybe, yeah. yeah. But one thing I, I really like about this pitch is that the, all the fences around, so it keeps them from going too far away. Yeah. But, uh, number 38. Number 38 with a drive. Oh, big hit by Jordan. We love to see those. Ooh, and they, uh, oh, number four. Ball, oh, my. For it. Wow, it's just. Oh, that, that definitely <laughs> might have been a throw. Yeah. Yeah. And okay, Mizuka's. That was that was wow. <laughs> we love to see games that are like that. There's yeah. a hit after another. Hustle plays. Oh uh, yeah. The plays that don't yeah. show up on the stat sheet. Yeah. Number 98. Ooh. Great attempt there. Yeah. Can't quite see the, the name on the back of the jersey. Yeah. Otherwise, I would definitely. See and a tackle by number 38. Right. Cindy Boger right there yeah. went down, but then a uh, good stop there by a yeah. very nice defense. Uh, didn't quite see jersey numbers, but uh, by the keeper Ooh. for a very nice end. Uh, number one, I believe that uh, we do not have a jersey number for that one. Uh, yeah. And then number 38. Number four oh. driving in. Ooh. It, I'm, I'm gonna be honest, Ashton. It is kind of hard to see both the, the chasers and the flag runner. Yeah, that's something you just gotta. Yeah. It, it's difficult sometimes, but it, that's the that's the fun of this game. Oh it's yeah, like it, you is, have, it is. Yeah. It almost feels like you have two different games happening. Uh, it, it, uh, it does. And then it's it, all um, intermingled, and that's yeah. one of the best things about this sport. Yeah. It it does it does get everybody excited because there's one thing that's going on, the other. But uh, got some love for Alex Vega over here. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, either way, uh, both uh, both teams working really hard right oh, now. Oh yeah. Both teams are, are pushing themselves. Yeah, both teams are playing with intensity, especially when you don't have the beaters. You just gotta play with intensity and just go. This game just does not feel like a 12 to 6 game. It, it really it doesn't. doesn't. No, it doesn't. Like Brandeis is playing at such a high yeah. level right it, it now. Yeah. It feels it feels like they're both neck on neck trying to do it the last score. It feels like this game should be tied. Yeah. I think the fast breaks have really hurt uh, Brandeis a lot. Oh yeah. Just uh, Mizzou's ability to get out and run. Yeah, yeah. Before Brandeis is set up, and I think that's been the difference because. When it comes to their set offenses and set defenses, yeah, they've been pretty equal. I think. Oh yeah, I, I feel like they've been equal, but I, I feel like Mizzou is still more aggressive Sparkle. on their defense. They're, they're more ready to take that fast break. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, but it nonetheless, uh, it's like we're starting to get out of our timeout break. Yeah, uh, players returning to their rooms. I'm excited to see the rest of this game. Uh, any game, it's just so... Alrighty. Uh, so, Brandeis having the luxury of starting next, or I guess, I believe, wait, I don't see the other dots. Uh, no, I think Mitsu, no, Mitsu doesn't have it. Yeah, Mitsu does have oh, it. Yeah, uh, it over there, I yeah. see Number. Alright. Yeah. Um, 
David Murgis, man, that man has been running back and forth the entire time. I feel <laughs> I feel for him a little bit. Uh, yeah. But uh, Janessa Deuce out there for the uh, for uh, Mizzou seeking. Uh, we got a lot of time getting to see her do that at Ben Patel. Great beat uh, by number 17, Edmund. Uh, yeah. And Grant Himmelman taking it back up the pitch, but running into a beater. That's never a good sign. Jack, number one Jackson. Oh, oh, great wrap up. Ooh. But I didn't like the way he fell. Yeah. What a great, great finish by number 11. Yeah. Every stop talking about how good she is. <laughs> Who looks like Alex got nicked there a little yeah, bit, but yeah. he's all right. Janessa gets beat. Oh, Man. great oh. beat. Wow, what a great play there by number 49. Uh, yeah. Um, oh, Eli Seek. Adrian now. Koretsky. Yeah. Sorry. Uh, that was a phenomenal exchange yeah. right there from them. Oh. And a, a, a driving dish. I don't. I couldn't tell if I, the, the score, the initial score, was the goal or. It, I think it was. It was. was, uh, was. Push through, but yeah. great play by both players right yeah. there. Eli Fighter is in as a seeker now. Yeah. Oh. I don't think I ever seen him seek at all, but I think it's an interesting call because they haven't yeah. really been able to get close to that. Yeah. That, uh, and a beat. Yeah. Oh, but he catches! What a catch, Eli Fighter! Oh my God! He was on the far side, so it wasn't super easy yeah. to see. But man, the the second that the, both beaters from Mizzou weren't able to be on that black runner. He goes. caught it, and it's good. Wow, you got a fighter. And that gives them a huge momentum shift. It does. And uh, now let's see if they can take that and use it to their advantage. Now, yeah, but yeah now Mizzou is going to play with even more aggressive. They more have intense. to. Yeah. Now they're, they're close, so it's like. This, this game could go either way, like we said. Yeah. It's either going to be continued dominance or it's going to be a comeback. And looks like we got a comeback. And, oh, yeah. I'll, dude. This is definitely a comeback for Brandeis, but it's also very, it's gonna make, it's gonna create a very exciting game to watch. One thing I've loved about watching Brandeis this year is that they always play up, they play to their their competition, right? Yeah. And they're able to play at a high level uh, when whenever they need to, and I think they can stand up to any team in the country right now. But. Ooh. Stoppage of play. I guess for the beaters. Uh, blue car on the near sideline. Yeah. I Number believe it three. was a. I think yeah. The, I think she had a dodgeball in her hand as yeah. she ran off the pitch. Tad Walters over here as the uh, head referee. Uh, making that call. I, I believe Tad is from the area that these Columbia College re referees mm. are as well. I, I don't, I'm not sure if he's a coach or a player. For, mm. I believe he plays for Bloom Train. Oh. Uh, really cool guy though. Very interesting human yeah. being. A great but ref as well. press up top. I don't know why they didn't beat him sooner. Oh. Uh, but they still have an opportunity oh. to score. I don't know how, <laughs> but yeah. uh, slipped on the pitch yeah, there. Yeah, now, now it's over. It is over. And it uh, seems. Mizzou, oh, however, yeah. Mizzou is able to get back on defense, yeah. have a dodgeball. Hopefully they're able to, for their sake at least, hopefully they're able to hold on this defensive possession with only having one beater. Oh, uh, yeah. But well, I, that I is think not it will. An easy thing to do. Yeah. Uh, and a shot. And, and a shot goal. by. Uh, that's number fourteen. Fourteen. Uh, Andres uh, Zalow. Uh, Zalowitz. Oh. <laughs> I was looking at the Mizzou chart. I was like, <laughs> my bad. But uh, just great, great shot. play there. Yeah. The beaters were able to take advantage of there only being one. Uh, so there wasn't a whole lot of resistance, and they were just able to beat out a bunch of yeah. chasers and. Score. In the past two. Cindy Boger with a shot. Oh. Missed opportunity there. Just wide. And a great cleanup by Brandeis, who's on a fast break. 
Challenging Grant Himmelman gets around oh, and his feet and a and score. score. Small wow. wow. Dodges the feet and just there. scores finishing it. And just like that, it, it's a one score game. Almost. It like you said earlier, it's definitely a comeback game. Wow. That that caught that catch for Brandeis definitely gave them that motivation. Alrighty, Sydney Boger with a drive yeah. towards the middle, a shot, or maybe a pass, Ooh. no good. Uh, to Grant Himmelman and with a drive and, and shoots it. Wow. That's the man that needs to have the ball in his hand. He's a star Ooh. player for their team. And, uh, oh. Great tackle. Wow, great stop there yeah. by, uh, by Ethan Gonzalez. But, oh, I wonder what the call here is. Uh, they might call it no. I believe it was away from the play. Yeah. Unless they're calling something on the contact, which I yeah. don't know. Uh. Yeah. So it's gonna be a, a B for, contact yeah, there. BG, okay. I love to see officials that are able to make plays. They're able to make calls like that yeah. away from that. Yeah. It's so important for our game, I think. Oh, yeah. To have so many different ref. We have this many referees. Yeah. Not all of them are staring at the clock yeah. ball. I'm like, glad. That just great call there yeah. by uh, the far side officials. Uh, just doing a great job over there. Oh, yeah. And this is your... Uh, Daily reminder, make sure everyone is, uh, if you're watching from home or you're watching from another Here. part of the pitch, make sure yeah. you're staying hydrated today. It's a long day for a lot of us, yeah. um, especially if you woke up this early to come watch, to watch these games. Make sure you are doing what's best for you. Yeah, drink a lot of water, stay hydrated, eat healthy, mm -hmm. and yeah. But 12 now to 14 right now, so it is a... Very close game. Yeah. Um, Brandeis took that that pull and used the momentum, yeah. but Mizzou still driving, Ooh. doing what they were doing in the first uh, 20 minutes of the game. Yeah. Uh, ball comes oh out my out. God! Number and 11. Driving on a beat. Oh here. no. Draws the beat. Pass over, and a score. And a score. Wow. Great play there. Uh, that I'm was shout definitely. out number 14 right there. Yeah. Andrew. Uh, Andres uh, Zalowicz was able to draw that beat beautifully to take the beater out of the play and dump That's it off to his yeah. teammate for the easy score. Very unselfish play. Yeah. He, well, he saw he saw his teammate ball. and knew he had to give it to him. But, oh, oh. And a fast break opportunity, but uh, oh, something's getting called here. Another beat foul. Yeah. I guess she got beat and then come on. Might have been play after beat right yeah. there. I think that's what Tad is saying. Great job overall by this beat, this uh, ref. Oh, yeah. They've been able to defuse situations, make a call, and, and then make sure everyone's aware yeah. of it. Ooh. Seems like they have to keep um, Brandon Chase on top. Though, that Mizzou's been able to get in very, very close to these hoops a lot of times. Oh, yeah. They haven't been able to finish as well as we'd like. Ooh, in a great block. block, number 42. That is Emily Braun. Uh, great play there to, to stop that shot from going in. Yeah. Sydney Boger in the backfield trying to mess, mess him up a little bit. <laughs> it's kind of hard to do that with six people there. Yeah. But great effort. They seem to be in the Brandon seems to be in the box formation. Oh, great beat! It might have been. Oh, yeah. There you go. There great you call go. There. Good I, that's beat. Good how beat. I saw it. A throw after beat. Uh, great play there by Ethan Denner. Oh yeah. And um, wow. 
out. Interesting, though, because Brandeis is in a position to win, but a lot of their key players are not in the game right yeah. now. Oh, great yeah, shot by number four. Great Gunner. shot right there by Grant Himmelman. Yeah. Uh, great player. Yeah. He's definitely there. But like you chaser. also point out, uh, Mizzou, Mizzou's taking all that space when they go to offense, mm -hmm. which is an advantage for them. Yeah, definitely. Cause yeah. The closer you are to those hoops, you, the the more space you have to be able to yeah. like, Ooh. make the right play. Ooh. Ooh. Clear? I, yeah. Uh, I think oh, never mind. No, he, okay. he did get B. <laughs> um, but I think what it's allowing Mizzou to do is they're, it's allowing them to get so close that yeah. the Brandeis is relying on their beaters to make Beat. plays on those yeah. passes, which is working sometimes, or they're just relying on the shot. Yeah. A little too much, I feel like Mizzou is. I think they need to be looking for those dunks. Oh, oh great beat. Uh, Lauren Smith with the ball. Pass over, but a missed opportunity right there, it looks like. Yeah. Lauren Smith back with the ball. Trying to make Ooh, it. Oh, and a beat. Great way to keep it in control and keep the play alive. Pass over the top. T uh, and a score. Score by Ethan. Wow. Uh, Might have been called beat, though. Oh, great call there! I it, believe that uh, that goal ref and as well as the LAR uh, Nivash J Ram yeah. both came together to make that call. Yeah, uh, great play there by I believe that was number 89 Ben yeah. like Ben Lamp, right? But it doesn't even matter. Yeah, Grand <laughs> coming back and recovering it yeah. and just Grand making a shot. Like I said, this is a great player. Yeah, and uh, puts Mizzou in range to win this game. Yeah. Um, it's always interesting to see how the game goes when oh, yeah. the team that was trailing at at secret floor mm -hmm. uh, gets the catch. It's yeah. always interesting to see how the rest of that game turns out. Yeah. And you know, it's still a pretty close game, even with a three point difference. Definitely. It's still a very close game. I think uh, a great, Ooh, uh, great uh, uh, recycle there by number 89, Ben Lambert. Oh, Ooh, what a big whoa. hit. Yeah. Uh, looks clean, though. Yeah. Sometimes uh, it's just a good play. Yeah. But number zero, uh, uh, George Jordan, Scarborough, yeah. definitely lay a hit. Uh, oh. Mizzou's beaters uh, making some noise in the backfield. And oh, and a missed opportunity right there. Yeah. On the far side, I can't and quite see the number. Also, it seems that Brandeis probably learned that they let Mizzou keep going up because now they have the keeper on in the front. Right. Yeah. Ooh, and a great beat. Oh, Grant Himmelman with a drive. Nobody in front of him. But a and a score. Nice. Great finish. Great score. That's that's just the play that he is. Yeah. And now let's see how they do it. Or if Brandeis can hold off. Because I don't know about you, but one of the most exciting things in this game is watching a team whose goal to go yeah. fight for their life in this game. It, it's something, just something about it. It, it, it brings out a different, uh, it brings out a different level of competition. Yeah. I think. Like you're you're competing at a very different level. Once, yeah. Uh, once you have one, you need to score one more. Pass it back. Peasant number 32. Wrap up. Oh, great wrap up from Lauren. Great wrap up. And it beat Jordan driving through now. Uh, looks like Jordan Scarborough is looking to end yeah. this game. Uh, but they're slowing it down. You got to make sure that you end this game on yeah. a high note. Whoa. Oh, and a great wrap, though. Oh, and from Eli Fighter. And number 99, uh, Caitlin Penny. Yeah. That was the initiator for the that tackle, and she yeah. she was able to hold him yeah. like that for a while. Great, great teamwork. She held it down. Eli just snagged the ball, and Sometimes they stopped. that's all you need, too. Yeah. Like, you don't always need to be there to make the tackle or you just put need them to on the hold You just need to make sure that they're not able to move for long enough yeah. where your teammates can come help you. Eli, Eli driving through. With a shot. Missed no the good. Ready? 
week. Uh, Mizzou looking to capitalize one more time. Yeah. And let's see if they can get it done. They've uh, made yeah. a couple substitutions. Oh. I think they're just looking to finish this yeah. one. Shot over. Oh, block. Ooh, blocked in a and tackle a, ooh, wrap. Fight. But he still has the ball. Okay. Oh, I think what happened it. is when when uh, when the Ethan uh, deflected the ball with yeah. his, his quad ball, I think it hit his foot. Oh, okay, okay. I think it's interesting, though, because Brandeis right now is goal to go. Yeah. They need one to score, one score, and they lose, right? Yeah. But they have a lot of their their line in that. Out right now. That isn't yeah. at the top of their line, but it's working. Yeah. It's very interesting, to see, and I think it just shows how deep this team is. Yeah. Uh, some beater. Yeah. Uh, Ooh. Contact up in the front court. Oh. B. Great stop there by the Eli Fighter driving nice. through now. And a fast break by Eli Fighter. And a go. Stay with that man. <laughs> but, uh, I want to shout out number 49 at the end of that play, Adrian mm -hmm. Koretsky. Uh, that's the reason that play happened. Yeah. Right? Because of the, the beat yeah. that they made. Uh, stopped the entire Mizzou offense. Oh, and yeah. Initiated the entire Eli Fighter yeah. fast break. Yeah. Brandeis defense definitely stepping it up now. Making sure they, they realize how yeah. important the, the end of this game is. They're even playing up a lot higher. Yeah, they're, they're not playing, letting get them get their through. Keeper on the hoop line now versus the way they were playing yeah. the trees earlier. They're pressing really, really high, really, really aggressive. Oh, great wrap attempt! But Grant Hemelman gets a gets away and from it. And a no good. Uh, that missed. shot just went got away from him. Yeah, I think he knew that how important that shot was, and it just yeah. sailed high. I think uh, Brandeis dodged a bullet on that yeah, one. Yeah, they that definitely did. Sealed it for but him. I'm excited to see how this ends now because it's just. Something tells me this game is far from over, though. You think so? Uh, 32 is beat on the far side. Oh, uh, Looks clear. like they're just taking out all the chasers. Eli oh. Fighter goes down. There are three chasers off room, but they didn't press it. I mean, yeah. Kind of confused on that call. Mizzou has control now, so they're just gonna press them down. I Grant think they're just trying to make a pass. Ooh. Ooh, and a big stop there by number 32 on Brandeis. Yeah. Uh, Rowan. Uh, yeah. Uh, Whoa! So a big tackle by number four Grant from Mizzou. Big tackle. So uh, number 38 yeah. up top with Eli Fighter. It seems like they're running 11. a diamond formation. Uh, Uma, uh, Kenzaria. Yeah. Just yeah. I feel like sometimes this, this game feels like a chess match where it's like you have to make the right play yeah. and the smart play and a big dunk, but I, I think I'm in, I think they're calling it no good. Yeah. I think it went out on blue, it looks like. It looked like Eli went for a dunk, but it just... Eli is definitely frustrated yeah. with that call. I, I thought it went good, but yeah. I'm, not, I, I'm not sure on that call. Yeah. I kind of feel for him on that, but it is what it is. And yeah. Sometimes you just got to move on to the next play. Yeah. But it seems like both teams have great defense. Their defense are are stepping up. The players are stepping up. Yeah, and Ooh. as this game or as this day continues to move on, we see more and more people on these sidelines as more people are arriving. Ooh, great, great wrap up. Wow. Uh, that was just a, a yeah a great gang tackle right there. But <laughs> oh yeah, one person got there and then the whole team swarmed. Yeah, and that's just that's exactly how you have to do it. 
yeah. especially against someone who is physically imposing, yeah. like a Jordan Scarborough, who can go through yeah, big one, boy. two, you three definitely, people sometimes. Yeah, he definitely needs, like, two or three people to tackle him. But nonetheless, great tackle by Brandeis. Ooh, great, Ooh. great, great rip there by Ben, uh, uh, Ben Lambright yeah. in control again. Uh, missed shot, but Brandeis still with the ball. So yeah. Off is still alive. All right, Eli takes the reset. That is a smart, that's a yeah. smart play. I think, because without a, a center hoop, it's a lot harder to score. Oh, yeah. Without any hoop, it's a lot harder to score. Yeah. I think the center hoop is probably the most important yeah. one to have. It was a smart play uh, So they them. took that reset so that they can stop play, fix the hoop, and get another shot yeah. at it. I think that's the right move. That, that the is right the right. So I feel like most teams don't take the reset, and, though. And smart, uh, smart call there by uh, Tyler Beckman. Oh, yeah. By the, the head coach of Brandeis. Yeah. But... Uh, and a uh, tackle attempt. Grant Hillman falls off broom. Miss beat attempt and a dunk. Dunk, nice. Number 38. Oh, wow, what? A, this team is, is yeah. fighting for their life, and I <laughs> like watching them play like yeah. this. Yeah. If they had played like this the whole game, this might be a very different game. It would have, yeah. But right now, I think it's getting in. Mizzou's in their head a little bit, it feels yeah. like. I feel like they, they realize how close they are to winning. Yeah. And they're just trying to seal it, but yeah. maybe. Oh, there it oh, goes. Oh, there it is. Grant Hemelman finishes this game. game. Wow. Uh, great play all around from both yeah. teams. It, it was a very exciting game. It I was very all intense. All the viewers enjoyed watching yeah. it. And um, I hope you're looking forward to this next one that's coming up real soon. Uh, that's Ashton Butler and Jose Reyes signing off for today. And take care, everyone.